What up, y'all? Your boy Roach back one more time. Another flannel. Ah, another way Russian. Big Waldowski about to get it in. I'll check order these up. I was at work. Uh, the hurricane came in. The box is heavy. So apparently she ordered some extra stuff. I'm not 100% sure what she got. I kind of like it. It's, you know, mystery, mystery package for me and y'all. I mean, I already know what flannel's in there. That should be two for me. None for you. Unless you ordered your own. She got herself at least one. Let's see what we got here. Little heavy box. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. I've been wanting that. I like the box they come in. The Dixon Tumblers. I dug the black one. She kind of took it over. I dug the white one and gave it to one of my kids for Christmas. I really dug the Tiffany blue one, gave it to my other kid for Christmas. And uh, now I got this slimy green one. Oh yeah. I think we might be able to make a white Russian in this size. This would be a good size white Russian. Might have to make them this big, might have to call them a white Polak. Hell yeah. I don't know, if you, if you haven't had one of these, they're a little higher quality than you would think they are for a, for a uh, cheesy tumbler. I don't know if they're $20 high quality, but they're no Yeti. But they are pretty nice for a, a you know, a novelty, a novelty tumbler. And now they're coming in the box, the 20 ounce tumbler, custom Dixon. Prior to, they were coming in a white box. What's the sound of the back? Signature Dixon logo branding at the center and base. Insulated to keep your favorite beverage hot or cold. Fits most cup holders. Hand wash only with soap and warm water. Do not microwave. Well, yeah, good thing I don't have a dishwasher. Our dishwasher is me and my chick. So, she just looked at me like I meant to only say her. But, uh, somebody likes yellow, so she got the yellow. Oh, yellow. She already got the black one. Now we got black and yellow and green. Might have to mess around and get them Christmas ones that I didn't really like just to have them. But it is what it is. Yellow, same idea. So, this one's going to be her. I'm sure of it. Whoa. Box down, casualty. All right, this one's basically dedicated to the hurricane. I'm probably gonna knock it down if I keep it right here. So I can it off. Let's see what we got here, right off the bat. Uh, ladies XL hurricane. First glance, first feel through the bag. Feels like a good flannel. Bam. Oh, uh, we got here, ladies large. She's still experimenting with her sizing. She's kind of a. Uh, so far we've done men's small, men's medium, men's large, women's is extra large. Now we're trying to women's large. At some point we're gonna figure out exactly what size she likes. So we're gonna pass them off and hopefully after this video, we'll know exactly what size she likes. Uh, here's one of mine, this one. Let me see which one has the better condition tag and bag because that's the one I'm gonna bother to leave in the tag and bag. This one has a crease tag. So this is the one I'm opening. It looks like this one is mine. This one's my keeper, the Hurricane. Ugh, box out of here. So that, it's a Hurricane. I know y'all love the crinkle of these bags, but it is what it is, man. It's, I already I already did away with doing it through the microphone on the camera, and now I do it through the microphone in my ear. You gotta wear an earpiece through the whole video. Well, hey, what do you do? Ah, you sip on your white Russian. That's what you do, if you're me. That's what I do. I Pulling it off the bag, right off the bat, we got a, uh, a real nice golden yellow. I dig that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure who the Hurricane guy is. It looks, I mean, I know that he was a dirt bike racer, but I gotta, I gotta plead my ignorance. I didn't study it. I didn't, uh, didn't look it up. I don't know anything about the fella, but I'm pretty sure he was probably dope if Dixon's bothering to make a shirt around him. There's the uh, sticker tag. I will wind up making the little collage, throwing it in over here, over here, whatever. We'll get it. Snap this back together. Make this short but sweet. No more of them 20 minute long videos. I did make a video the other day. Shot it, opened about four or five shirts. Uh, by the time I was done editing up for one video, or for one shirt, I uh, went back and deleted the source material and basically lost the whole damn video. So, oh man, rip that one. I usually keep those, but this one's trash. Good thing I got a couple. All right, we'll hold it up. Yeah, it's actually a really nice, uh, it's nice. It's the move. What's that look for? That look, uh, that looks like you might like the large. That's your size? Oh, yeah, see, she thought she was an extra large. She's a large, see? 
Oh, you see you over there fitting. All right, so from now on, we'll start getting you larges and the ones you like. She doesn't like everyone like I do. I like to just get everyone because I'm a little bit obsessive. Some of my buddies, my boy Jim Job, he'll be like, oh, this is Dub's new hobby of the month. Because you know I got nine nicknames. Big Waldowski, Dub, Roach, Adam. Hey, Dub, whatever. There's the logo, Hurricane, XL. The XLs fit me small, as, as always with the newer ones. Pleat. We have the yellow tag to match. Down low, what's the lower one? Lower one, another yellow tag to match. I do like the yellow tags. And, and here, glasses, black with the yellow glasses. Trying to keep it as uh, short but sweet as possible. And this is, uh, man, this one feels good. The DTEC material, I don't know if there was a problem with import-export for a minute there or what, due to the pandemic or due to something. There was just a few shirts there that had a real, real big variance to me in the uh, in the feel of the fabric. Uh, I mentioned it pretty heavily in the videos that I lost that you guys will never see. But, you know, the buttons do say the hurricane. Maybe the description, maybe I'll figure out who the hurricane is, or maybe y'all can study it on your own. D check fabric proprietary, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's just another another really nice flannel from Dixon, man. I, I uh, my, my mother, I got her one, or actually I got my stepdad one and my mother was checking them out. She doesn't feel like they're really even flannels. She feels like they're more of a dress shirt than a flannel, but hey, it is what it is. And all these other new ones, live fast, question authority, work hard, stay humble, wear Dixon. I got most of that on lock. Let me see if I can't get you a full blown, full view here, full shirt. A little more true to light than I don't know. There's a little strange filter added to the uh, for the products on the Dixon website. I do gotta say, man, I'm gonna pull out this tumbler one more time. I don't know if I can get this in there. You can see the Dixon branding. Focus in on that real quick. They're just a uh, they're they're pretty nice. They got I don't know a stopper on the so you don't lose your straw. Yeah, that'll go good with my adrenaline or any of my bright green stuff. I gotta say, uh, well, before I cut this out, man, well, <clears throat> you know, love me and love white Russian action. I just can't help it. I am currently wearing the Zach Brown band. I mentioned it, I think, in one of the videos that I lost that nobody will probably ever see because it's just gone. But, uh, I really, really like the shirt. I don't want to hate on the shirt, man, but I really, I mean, first things first, I don't know who the Zach Brown band is. Um, I'm assuming it's a band because, you know, two and two, but I don't know who the Zach Brown band is. I'm betting that I probably don't listen to them, probably don't like them, but this to me is just too big. It's too much. The big square tag comparable to the G. Now, I don't know if I did a G, unop or G opening or not. I don't know if that's one of the ones I lost or if I have that or maybe I need to do one. But, uh, yeah, to, to me, this is just too too large. The new Suicidal Tendencies, the 2.0 or whatever, that one is large like this as well. But to me, because it blends better, I don't know, this one does blend. I, I, I don't know, maybe just because I don't know who the Zach Brown band is, I don't care for it. But that is what it is. Here's the sticker for that one. I didn't grab the bag. I just grabbed the sticker so I wouldn't have to run and get it but uh, or have my chick do it. But there is that. Uh, with that being said, I mean, I might as well slide right off into this. I'll grab it. I already opened one of these, and I'm not going to pretend I wasn't extremely disappointed, and I actually kind of hated. <clears throat> Cat is super cool, man. Uh, uh, I won't come. I won't, well, I just won't even open it. Let me, uh, I won't show off any of the address or the title because it's all handwritten on the bag. This comes from a cat, uh, Shane. He's in some of the flannel groups. Super cool guy, man. And I, I, I give him an E for effort. Uh, he originally was going to make these FTP Flannel Company Speed Demon. His labeling, a little large for my liking, but his exterior labeling FTP would have been cool. The interior for the Speed Demon, another thing, could have been cool, man. This was actually, uh, this was really, a, really a real dope uh, interior tag. Uh, but unfortunately, somebody else owned the name. And uh, aside from that, what had potential to be a really nice, uh, a, a really nice shirt, man, kind of a... Uh, just steered steered wrong man and i feel bad for the guy because i know he put in a lot of effort and i know he really wanted it to be everything that he wanted it to be but unfortunately at the end of the day uh manufacturing is what it is and to me the material feels like shit uh it the collar is is to me is just i mean it's trash 
look at the back is already, the collar's just smashed already. And that ain't his fault. He tried it, it had potential to be a super dope pattern, man. It, it uh, I mean, prefab flannel that he did some extra things to. He changed the way the pocket design was, put the snaps on it instead of the buttons. Uh, but yeah, there's a, a few few major design flaws with it. I mean, first, first things first, he changed it to Black Carnage Flannel Company, which I'm not mad. I mean, Black Carnage Flannel Company is what it is, but this to me looks like a UFC logo or something. And it's like, I don't know, the big cage fighter crew or whatever. And I, 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 I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm hating on dude, but I'm not, honestly. I just really wish I could give him some constructive criticism because he's got the right idea. His product just didn't turn out. And I know that he's not in his back bedroom sewing these up. So, and the, and the snaps are dope, man. These are uh, black snaps on this red and black flannel. And honestly, I'm going to give this one credit because uh, the other one that I got, the lineup was absolutely terrible. Like I'm talking, it was, it was way off. And this one here, if you see it snapped up and the lines are actually matching babe are you right over there can you grab that other black carnage flannel uh because uh, uh I, I mean i i came right out the gate hating on this one and and aside from the material i do not like the material and it's supposed to be a poly blend but uh yeah this one is although the pockets placement is pretty terrible um one's way up one's way down one's close uh, uh, like so, so it did miss the mark on that. I mean, it, it did totally miss the mark on the pocket placement. But let me open this other one up for y'all real quick. I said I wasn't gonna let this video go long and I promised I wasn't gonna hate on this dude at all because like I said, man, he's a good guy and he had a great idea. And I did put this back in the bag cause I was just gonna save it and uh, hope for the best in his future. But look at these with the buttons done up. Not only is this pocket a half inch, three quarters of an inch higher, Look at how far off the lines are when it's snapped. It is it is just, uh, it, it's subpar manufacturing, which again, isn't his fault. He attempted to make a great product, but it didn't work out in that fashion. Um, his back, I don't know, the pattern is really sweet to me. Uh, somehow the other one, one other thing that I do want to see real quick. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, a little big old coffee coming out there. I'm going to unbutton a couple of these. Okay. I'm gonna try to cut this cut this here shortly, but uh, so this is the one that's off, and uh, I'm gonna pop her open and show y'all <clears throat> that uh, like I'm coming through the end of this sleeve, right? So I try to snap this up, and this is on the outside button. <clears throat> this is as big as this sleeve gets. I can't fit four fingers through that bad boy. There ain't no way it's fitting my wrist through there. If I try to put it on the extra, like the next one down, we're legit putting three fingers out the end of it. I don't know what they thought. I mean, I, <laughs> I know what I have that would fit through that and it's not my hand or my wrist, you feel me? So <clears throat> let's check the other one and see if maybe, I mean, this one, the, the manufacturing is up. It is better. This one, the lineup is good. Um, and while I'm hating on the material, I mean, <clears throat> maybe it'll be sweet after a wash. Maybe this one can handle a wash. I am not a bacon collar guy. Um, I really don't like flannels. I just like Dixon's. And I really hoped that this was on par or better. But uh, <clears throat> hey, we'll give, them, we'll give them a shot. Let's go through here. We'll pop this out. Oh, we missed it. Uh, should edit that out so I just only look cool. As if I look cool in these or something. But uh, yeah, we'll pop this together here and we'll see if maybe this one. Oh, it's a little bigger. Look at that. Oh, we can get our hand through it. Hey, man, so this one, the lines line up and we can get our hands through. While I'm out here hating, maybe I should put my man's flannel on real quick. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's give him a little bit of credit here. <laughs> the collar is awful. I'm hearing that from uh, <clears throat> stage left. Whew. So. Look how the lines don't line up. Huh? Look how. Yeah, yeah, we do. I mean, the lines are lining up side to side, but here we go up and down. It's still, still missing the mark. Uh, yeah, it's just a, 
I don't know, man, once again, like I said, look, and these ones are coming under the pocket with the pocket cockeyed. These ones are coming into the pocket, pocket straight. So yeah, in turn, I mean, even the one that's better, it's better, still subpar. I apologize to my guy for publicly not necessarily bashing. I think it's constructive criticism. I think you should take it with a grain of salt and move forward and create a, you know, the next one with a little higher, higher standard. With that being said, I might as well throw this on. Put this back on the melon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I can see, see me. Boop, boop. All right, well, hey, this was uh, the Hurricane, the Zach Brown Band, and another attempt at trying to love the Speed Demon, but instead it turned into a little bit more hate or constructive criticism, depending on how you look at it. I guess if my man is open-minded, he'll see it as constructive criticism towards the next release. If he's not very open-minded, he's gonna see it as me hating on his product, but I mean, for somebody that hated, I bought two. So uh, I don't think you can call it hey, I paid full cash price for both of them. With that being said, another sippy sippy and uh, Roach, peace out.